He was a snob. Uh -huh. He was truly an elitist. First of all, he refused to make categories. People say, well, Jewish music, this and that. He says, no. Yeah, there is such a thing as Jewish music, but basically there's not only good music and bad music. I mean, that, that, but bad music for him was commercial music, mm -hmm. music that was written specifically for commerce, for jingles. And he was very much, as I say, an elitist. The lower spectrum of music for basically the uneducated, the un, 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 uncultured, unexposed to art music were, that music was really dismissed and for the most part treated with contempt. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, he really was um, a person who felt that, uh, I think particularly in the, in the inferiority complex that I think many Jews uh, carried around with them, not just about, you know, their status in, 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 uh, in the overall civilization and culture, but also from uh, a point of view of, of the arts and their education and the rest of that. I mean, if they were educated in Talmud and, and Torah, that's one thing, but that didn't carry. Mm. And um, I think that um, he felt it was, it was really necessary to raise the consciousness of standards. Mm -hmm. Necessary to begin to understand that if you're going to write a song, you have to think, I mean, in terms of Harold Bloom, the anxiety of influence, you have to think that Schubert was there, and Mozart was there, and Bach was there before you. Mm. And you think you're writing this little, uh, uh, this little ditty, and you worship that? You think it's, it's something wonderful? It isn't. And of course it is, in a way, but you have to think about it very differently. But he was working, in a sense, against the grain. He was working to elevate taste, to, to improve, to refine a culture, yeah. and really to overcome the ghetto mentality. Mm -hmm. And that ghetto mentality, of course, is very uh, narrow and, and uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't matter. Provincial? Provincial, yeah. Yeah, and he, you know, was since he was educated in the, in the classical tradition and knew much about it, as well as the other, the Chazonish, uh, he wanted to see if there was not some way to elevate, to refine, to transform these things into a higher, higher realm. And that's really what his life was about from an artistic point of view.